So guys, in today's, like you know, previously we have our news read about the machine learning and artificial intelligence. And in today's video of that, I'm telling about the three D three dot JS. If you don't know what is D three dot JS, let me tell you. Well, uh, in the just a uh, short form, D three dot JS is uh, just a JavaScript library for manipulating the HTML based on data. Okay, this this is the D three dot JS. But let's go to the computer screen and let's learn about uh, more more deep in it. And please like this video, share off, uh, and subscribe to my channel. Do not forget to all the notification bell also. So never miss our future latest video and see this video start to end. If you do not see this video start to end, you have problems in your code today. And you, if you see the video start to end, one one more benefit is your you gain a knowledge and your concept will be clear about it. So that's why I'm telling you see the video start to end. But I do not take a long time, so let's move move to the computer screen and let's learn about what a three D three dot JS. So let's move to the computer screen and let's do a coding with laughing. So guys, like I told you in my introduction, I am telling about the D three dot J the machine learning. So without wasting a time, let's learn about it. D three dot J is a JavaScript library for manipulating HTML based on data. Like I have already told you in my introduction, how to use the D three dot J. If you don't know how to use it, let me tell you. To use D three dot J in your web page, add a link to the library. Like this library, add a link to this library. How you can add it? Let me tell you. Open Google. First of all, close it. Open Google Chrome. Go here and then search here Applet. Then open your Applet like that. And when you open your Applet, so it take a little bit loading, but it will be open it. Open your HTML file. When you open your HTML file, it take a little bit loading, but it will be open very successfully. Yes. And then in the Right here, head, and in the head section, add this, and then when you add this in your head section, let me tell you now what you can do. It is that now D three is uh, dot js is easy to use, very easy to use. The script selects the body element and appends a paragraph with the text "Hello World." Like this is our intent text, sketch upload. This is one example here. You can see it about the scatter plots. Let me copy that, and let me go on my script and paste it. Go down. So here you can see it. In today's video, we just do that, and when you run it, if it is not running, let me tell you what you can do. And when it's not running, go copy it and search here. What is error in this code? Then it will tell you this this type of error in your code. Here you can see it. Give what is error in this code? Give me complete code with an output. So then it will be start to giving me here you can see it. Insert it and insert it. Remove from here. Now here you can see like that you can do it very easily as. Yes. So here you can see it in today's video. I learn uh, we learn about many much more thing in today's video. We learn about how to use the D three dot JS. This is just for example. Uh, this is just for example. I've show you how to use the D three dot JS. If it is not using, let me tell you what you can do. You can log out your account, then sign up for free from here. Then open with continue with Google, and then when you continue with Google, open your, it take a little bit loading, but it will be open very easily as. Yes. Open your email in which you have made it your file. I open it and I write like my password like that. And when I write it, my password to take a little bit loading, but it will be open very easily as yes. like that. Here you can see it. Now, what you can do? You open your HTML file, and here you can also paste your code. Here, like that, you can also paste your code here. 
and when you copy it and say what is error in this code give me complete code it in the uh, in this code there is not such type of error but it, uh, i just asking him what is error in this code so i can see it, it start to giving me and when when i is that and when i insert it like that and when i run it so when i reload it so like that you can do it very easily yes and when you control z and when you run it and now it give you the output where okay now here and then z z and then save and then control z again and z okay now it give you the output when you run it from here now it give you the output like here you can see it here you can see worldwide production like italy min min 55 france min 49 spain 44 usa 34 argentina 18 Like that, you can do it. Here you can see it in today's video. We learn about how to use the D3.js in the machine learning. So I hope you can enjoy this class. If you enjoy, please so please like this video, share your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Do not forget to all the notification bell also. So never miss our future latest videos. So but for today, goodbye.